Good afternoon. My name is Ongi Wakama. For those of you who are unfamiliar with me, I am a nurse here in the operating room, specialty of head, neck, and plastics. I'm here to present to you our strategic plan in regards to how we can increase our staff retention by lowering our high turnover. We've noticed that the big, a big problem here is communication. That is the greatest cause of high turnover. Communication is the manager's job. Manager's communication is purpose directed. It directs everyone's attention towards the vision, values, and desired goals of that team or organization. So communication is a key, a key component in being an effective manager. How do we improve communication? This is our plan. How do we improve communication? You're probably wondering. But first of all, we have to establish trust. In order to improve communication, there needs to be some sort of trust between the subordinates and the leadership team. So how do you establish trust? You establish trust by providing an open forum. And during this open forum, the, the staff will be allowed to vent, express their concerns, ask questions. And we should also provide open, direct, honest, concise, clear information to our staff. This is all that they want. Communication can make or break an organization. In order to have a good working relationship, you need to have trust. You need to be able to communicate with one another. The staff need to feel as if they can communicate with the leadership team without any kind of retaliation. And also, if they communicate their concerns to the management team, they should feel comfortable that it will not be used against them, or they will not feel attacked or alienated because they were expressing their concerns. We also need to be mindful of sending our management team or those who are interested in becoming managers to some sort of coaching, communication skills, some sort of seminar or class that's conducted. We have so many of that within the hospital organization here that's free to the employees just for us to take advantage of it by sending our managers for these classes. This is where they'll learn by communication, how to communicate with our staff, what not to say, how to encourage communication, how to ask open-ended questions, to be mindful of our body language, our body cues, because nonverbal and verbal communication, especially nonverbal communication, it says a whole lot. It can carry more weight than verbal communication. Our employees, they're very mindful. They watch the way we behave. We have to make sure that we are exemplifying our core values, which happens to be caring, integrity, and discovery. Integrity, that's trust. That's being honest. That's not, that's not telling lies. That's not allowing information to be misconstrued. That's being open and honest with our subordinates. And we need to establish some sort of metric. A metric will help us establish a baseline. We would gather this baseline, this, this metric from information from like maybe four to five years ago as far as our um, staff retention and staff turnover. Turnover constitutes an employee that leaves an organization within three to six months of their employment date. So now our data will be gathered from four to five years. For those employees who have left within that time frame, then that three to six month time frame, collect that data, keep it, keep it in one location, and also start gathering information for one year, about one to two years, collecting information on staff that may have left within that within that three to six month time period after we have implemented this type of strategy or strategic plan with how to with improving on the communication and retaining our staff. 
We would also offer questionnaires and surveys to conduct quarterly checkpoints. And during these quarterly checkpoints, this is when the staff and subordinates may have to come together to discuss the concerns, ask questions, try to reassess or reevaluate the communication skills if we're improving, if we need, need to retweak certain things, if communication is not best, if they like to be communicated via email, texting, social media, face-to-face. -face. However, we found that face-to-face -face communication is the best way of communicating. This gives you some sort of way to gauge how the person receiving the information, to, to gauge how they're reacting to the information that's, that's being disseminated across the board. If you speak with them face to face, you can watch their body cues, body language, they can watch yours as well. Now, once we have conducted this type of quarterly check or this type of questionnaires and surveys, and we begin implementing changes, they see that we communicate and they see that their concerns are not falling on deaf ear, this is another way of establishing trust. And then during the evaluation period, we would then evaluate the information we got, that the information we've collected from four to five years compared to what we have gathered from this time forward in the last one year when we were gathering and when we are gathering information about the turnover for that one year period. If we notice a decline in our turnover rate, we would then realize that our strategic plan about improving our communication was successful. It was helping with our turnover rate. We noticed that during the exit interview when our employees leave within that three to six months, their biggest concern is the communication, how it's lacking within our organization. So this is why we have our stakeholders who are present during this today's meeting most of you are involved in the budgetary aspect of this organization and also within our team. So we all know that turnover affects the budget. When a person leaves an organization, it, it costs money to fill that vacancy. We have to spend money on ads, we have to spend money on job fairs, we have to spend money on recruiting. We also may have to spend money on paying other people overtime to fill that vacancy. And also, we have to make some adjustments, changes, shifts here and there. So we have to be very, be very mindful. This is why I felt it was very, very important to have our stakeholders involved in this meeting, especially our chief financial officer, because we all know money is the bottom line. We cannot function a whole lot without money. If we can find ways to help cut costs, just by simply improving upon our communication, this will really help with our turnover rate. Thank you for attending. Thank you for this opportunity. Have a wonderful day.